Hello there. <laughs> so, <laughs> how have you guys been doing? <laughs> I'm glad to be playing a different game for once. Because, I mean, yeah. Yes, I I think so too. Um, lots of people describe, well, this pattern as tablecloth. <laughs> so, yeah, why not wear a tablecloth? Thanks for the bits. But, um, uh, yeah. I sometimes wear this pattern so yeah it's a thing <laughs> yes <laughs> why not wear a tablecloth they're pretty so yeah that's how i end up with a shirt like this one <laughs> but yeah um this game is actually called goblins quest three so, I think that's a weird choice, but Sierra got involved, so of course it's called Goblin's Quest and Goblin 3. It's kind of got both names because, yeah, reasons. <laughs> I'd say it's especially weird because there's no Goblin's Quest 1 or 2. They just called it Goblin's Quest 3. So, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I don't really start yelling and swearing. That's not my style. So. We'll see. For some reason, the fact that Sierra got involved does not make me too optimistic about it. I mean, sure, the Sierra games were less silly than most of the Goblins games. But Sierra still made some very silly decisions, so we'll see. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> but I mean, I keep on raging about how Sierra doesn't actually finish their games. As in, like, they don't really add a proper ending. So, yeah, <laughs> I'd say criticizing the developers <laughs> for creating these games, it seems reasonable to me. <laughs> They're the ones who made them, so, like, who else would I criticize? Anyways, I'll actually start up the game, and we'll see how obnoxious this intro is. <laughs> From what I've seen so far, it might be tad obnoxious, but we'll see. Anyways. As I said, a tad obnoxious. Poor six-legged spider. What happened to it? You get woken up by a sneezing spider. Alright then. You sure? It didn't look like a cricket to me. Not so sure about this. But is that supposed to be music? It doesn't sound like music to me. Like, it was definitely noise. Why did they choke? 
Why that sound effect? <laughs> I did not want that sound effect for having a character scratch their behind. But okay then. <laughs> so, got one coin and a golf club. Wait, was that... Is this ship flying? I've got questions. Um, I think that was a mouse using a parachute. I must leave this ship with the barrel that is at the stern. Okay. Well, I've got a parachute. That's a good sign. Well. I no longer have a parachute. But that mouse has one. Um. Well, that's a choice. Alright. I mean. Yeah. I'm like five minutes into this game and we've got the character. Pretending to commit suicide as part of a joke. Okay then. tooth up there. Why does it have arms? This tooth would be useful. I need somebody to push me up there. <sighs> so Wow, that makes sense. It's nice how he switches back and forth between talking gibberish and talking English. It's a hook for the ropes. A screw is holding it. Okay, can I use the coin on the screw? Seems. Oh. All right. Just. Drop that thing. See if I care. <laughs> but yeah, I'd say the graphics are similar to the previous game. I can't catch this umbrella by myself. I need help. Okay. Well, I'll create a save. Name of the save file. Not boat. One. There. <laughs> Not gonna change up my save file names now. That would just be silly. Why? What? 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 Alright then. Yeah, it seems like it. Where is he? Oh, over there. Lovely. Um... Now what? <laughs> uh... I must find something to cut the rope that holds this barrel. And then what? 
then just fall? How is he flying in the first place? Well, I hope that wasn't important. Wait, a parrot in a jug? His name is Chubb. The sailors locked him up because he was impossible. Okay. Big bear, big boom, big bear, boom, big, big boom, big boom, big boom, big boom, boom, boom. His name is Chubb. The sailors locked him up because he was impossible. Hello. How you doing? Goblin's news. What is this? Using the Galodian method, learn to speak Galodian in one night. What's that? Is that the goblin language? The... And if so, just why? Why have the character translate goblin language to English? Seems very strange to be playing that character. Whatever. Because, <laughs> I mean, it, it kind of means that you as the player are part of the game because the character is translating stuff for you. <laughs> I'm very confused. Impossible mission. I am... Blount? That's just how I'm going to pronounce that. You're a faithful reporter and I'm starting the fabulous trip to the foreign country of Foliander. I promise I will bring back an interview of Queen Xena and King Bod, who are enemies. Okay. I'm still confused. Aim of the screen. What? What? <laughs> What is this place? Are those all the levels? I'm still confused. Plant must free Chump, then find the way to leave the flying ship aboard the barrel. Yeah, well. A music option. Okay, it's just on or off. Wow. So. How am I going to free him? I don't think the golf club is going to work. Why are there cannonballs falling from the sky? Just wondering. Okay. And what's this? It's not connected to the ship, so... What is that? More cannonballs, of course. I can't catch this umbrella by myself. I Still need not, help. Not sure why that umbrella falls. Must be a really bumpy ship ride. So confused. Uh, 
Um, well... Did I say that? Because I was already planning on playing this game. Because that's just generally what I do. I think I started... I, I think I said I didn't want to start the third Goblins game that stream. So maybe that sounded like I was saying that I didn't want to start it at all. But, well, it's not what I meant. I just had enough of Goblins games yesterday. <laughs> um, the Goblins 4, I think that one's like just a couple of years old, right? But I might play it anyways. I think I read that was from 2009, but I'm not sure. So... Well, I know you're right that it's called, well, Goblins 4, but with three eyes again. And I think I also read that it's with the same characters as the first game. So that explains the three eyes. But, yeah. Um, maybe. If you guys are interested in watching that game, then sure. I haven't heard of it, so. I can't catch this umbrella by myself. I need help. I'm not sure. If you guys have any specific games you want me to play, then let me know. I haven't really decided which of the games that, well, have been requested I'd want to play next. So, yep, that's a parachute. Still not sure how he's even stuck on this ship in the first place. Seems like a very weird situation to find yourself in. Um, sure, I'm considering that one. Yeah. So, now what? Standing there. So... Whatever. Maybe I can use the golf club on the weights? But then again, maybe not. Probably not. Yeah. So I've got a coin and a golf club, and just one character, which seems like it would make stuff easier to figure out. So that's good. Can't do anything else here. So whatever I do, I guess I might need the help of the parrot to Get the umbrella. Big bear, big boom, big bear, boom, big but I don't know how to free the parrot. His name is Chubb. The sailors locked him up because he was impossible. Because it seems like he's just stuck in like a jug. Which. Well, I guess it rhymes with his name. Five Jokers. All right. Interesting. 
So I guess in this game they actually added jokers, not just the button. Well, that worked. <laughs> Ow. Um, well, I've played Thimbleweed, so, sure. Chump offers to help if I get him out of there. Okay. So... No. I was hoping I could maybe get him out from the bottom, but I guess not. Because, I mean, it seems like his body would be bigger than his head. So, golf club again. Is that gonna be it? I hope not. <laughs> well, it seems like he could free himself just fine. I mean, I've made some progress with him. Now he's stuck in a different place. Which is way better. <laughs> is there such a thing as too easy? I can't catch this umbrella by myself. I need help. Are you trying to say that I need to be a certain level of frustrated to feel like I'm playing a game? Because, <laughs> well, not aware of that being a thing. If I put a coin in the hand. Heads. Okay. Great. Heads. I think that coin maybe only has one side or has both sides look the same. Well, he almost fell. That's progress. So, got the golf ball. Is that just going to be a red herring? Possibly. So don't... Can't really see a reason for it. And I'm not sure if it's going to be closer to the first or the second game when it comes to puzzle design. I mean, it seems like it's going to be limited to this area for now. So, it might just be puzzles that are only one screen each. We'll see. I must find something to cut the rope that holds this barrel. I mean, it seems like he could just push the barrel off the side of the ship. I mean, how is the ship even able to fly, though? Why is he trying to get off of it without a parachute? <laughs> just by sitting in a barrel. That's gonna go... well. I'm sure. Not sure if that actually means anything. Or if it's just supposed to be a joke. So, I've got the hand, the tooth, 
the white parrot and this piece of rope oh, and the golf ball. This seems to be for later. So. Oh, the box. Anything in the box? Pepper. Anything else? A plunger. Lovely. Anything else? A mouse trap. The boy, the boy, the boy, the boy. Did I actually get the mouse trap? Nope. All right. So. <laughs> Let's see. The boy, the boy. Plunger then. <laughs> Fixed it. <laughs> All right then. He's snoring. There we go. And yes, I do. What if he tries to interact with the rope? The golf ball? <laughs> this is what happens if I try and use the inventory. <laughs> uh. I was expecting it to just not do anything, but... I appreciate that they point out that the parrot does not have arms. I've got a feeling it's going to be very cartoony, just based on this part. So. Am I going to be able to have them interact with each other? Not sure. At least he doesn't whistle. Ah, that's where you went. <laughs> so, let's see. Anything I can do with that? This tooth would be useful. I need somebody to push me up there! To push him up there. Not so sure about that. I'm just glad the controls seem more reasonable for now. I mean, it's quite a relief. Even if I'm not a huge fan of the sound design so far. <laughs> oh, and they're not really 
using the same uh, sounds from the previous games, so... At least I haven't heard any. So that's nice. I'm not gonna keep on hearing that one clock sound effect that they kept on repeating in practically every room. So... Well, as far as I know, Sierra wasn't that involved with this game, but... Like... It was more about publishing than the development part. But still. <laughs> if there's anything this series needed, it's Sierra getting involved. This tooth would be useful. Yes. I need somebody to push me up there. Um Sierra was part of the publishing process of this game. So that's what I was talking about. And yes, I'm wearing a flannel shirt. I know. Outrageous. So... Wait. A hole in the bucket? Why is there a hole in the bucket? Oh, is that just a handle? Oh, it, it's a barrel, not a bucket. Close enough. But yeah, I just think it's very silly that they added the word quest to this game's title. Well, so far it seems better. How is such a small bird making this amount of noise without even opening its beak? But yeah, I think I might need a hint. Not sure. Well, I don't think I have a fish. So, I'd have to figure out how to get the fish first. Do anything over here? No. Doesn't seem to. be useful i need somebody to push me up there somebody does that include the ship music suddenly so loud. These games don't really make a lot of sense when it comes to stuff like that. So, I still don't know what this is. Is there a ship right in front of this ship? That's just flying in front of this one for no reason? Why do I even want a tooth? Oh. Probably to cut the rope. But still, why? <laughs> I guess it could be.
No. So, what about using stuff on the hand? No. Nope. Still haven't used the pepper. At all. Great. <laughs> Finally a way to get a sneezing sound effect to happen. Well, I mean, that seems like you were just playing the games and then returning them after being done with them. <laughs> well. <laughs> Pretty sure that wouldn't be allowed. And it might also be the reason why they got rid of that specific policy. So... I going to get that tooth. I, I think that other I think he's supposed to be the same character, but I'm very confused by the rope. But all right. I mean, it's strange to eat half a jar of jam before you figure out that you don't like it. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing alright. How are you doing? Currently trying to figure out how to get this tooth. Because when you're on a ship that's flying, the obvious thing to do is try and get a tooth to then cut the rope that's holding this barrel. Yeah, don't question it too much. Well, it's nice that it's getting better then. <laughs> so, I've used the coin on the screw. I have not used the umbrella. I have used the plunger and the golf club. Haven't used the pepper. How would I use the umbrella? In the rope? Is that it? No. It's all just one item. I was thinking maybe I could stand up here and use it, but I guess not. So... Yeah, I think I do want to hint. 
Because getting to that tooth it seems rather silly. So, yeah. Floor. Oh, that one. That makes no sense, but okay. Okay. Let's try this again. I did. So... I'll save again. Ooh, fancy. No, not boat. Two. If I hang an umbrella on this barrel. Sure. There. Sure that's gonna work like a parachute. So. How about now? Lovely. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> Okay then. Oh, got my umbrella. <laughs> so... I found a hand. It's okay. Piece of toasted bread. What's going on over here? Hercules? What? Tell me, my good man, why are you here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was that? Hot air, okay. Another flagstone? Alright. Well, that makes sense. Nope, the hand. Come on. There we go. So. Well, that's useful. Okay, so I can just sit on that ro rock right there. Why is there a branch? Okay. Guess it doesn't matter.
Who can I talk to? Please, I lovely. Is that him taking painkillers every time? Just wondering. Oh, okay. Well, this game sure deals with a couple of interesting subjects. So just, like, taking painkillers every five minutes. I'm sure that's not gonna have any sort of consequences ever. You should totally do that. I can't walk over there. I guess, once again, because I can't see the path that goes behind this thing. Well. That just means it doesn't exist. Because of course it doesn't. That would be silly. Let's see, can he use these? Yes, he can. Interesting. Hello, how you doing? Oh look, we found a lady person. This poor girl is a prisoner. I must fight to free her. All right. <laughs> that reaction was perfectly normal and not weird at all. Yes, I purposefully made that... Well, I purposefully used a silly word. Just based on the game. And how it treated the situation. So... A female lady person, then. <laughs> Female lady one. All right.
So why do I have a hand? Is someone missing one? Is he missing a hand? It's difficult to see. Since her top is basically the same color. So... That's alright. I usually can't spell either, so. Especially with my keyboard. The game is alright so far. It's not nearly as bad to control, so. I do appreciate that. So, can I actually communicate with her, or... This bunch of roots waits for their boss to hand him the prisoner. Okay. It's a bit weird to have all of them stand here like that. And not even look at the prisoner that they're supposed to keep. Whatever. I'm sure it makes sense. Like, they're not even guarding her. <laughs> they're just standing here. Y yeah. This character seems to be the only one who speaks English, and even he doesn't do that all the time. So. Don't worry, there's plenty of gibberish. Sure. <laughs> Actually, I haven't had him try and use this rock, I think. Is there anything I can do with it? Wait. That looked bloody. Or was that just his glove? I guess that's his glove. But see what I mean? It kind of looks like just a hand that they ripped off of one of their fighters and just left there. It's a bit gruesome. I mean, why do they have a random hand lying on the ground? Because that is quite weird. Maybe I can use it over there. We'll see. Like, maybe I can wave to this guy. Since that's apparently the main thing that hand is good for. Just waving. And I can't get to him. So. How about some pepper? <laughs> nope. Not quite. Can I pay him off? No. Well, that's not very nice. How about a golf club? <laughs> okay. I guess that actually did it. Interesting. Uh, does that work on the next guy too? Okay. Uh, <laughs> slightly confused. So, the plunger? No. 
the pepper. There. Ow. Uh, the bread. I combine items. I don't think so. And this didn't work. Yeah, true. No health bar. Can confirm. Maybe I can go back over there. And then hit them with the golf club from behind. As you do. No. Can't wave to them. Plunger. No. Umbrella. Somehow. No. How about some toasted bread? No. Uh. Pepper? Okay. Rim that actually works. Kind of. So... Hmm. What can he do? Nothing. That didn't work. Yeah. And I can't reach the other guy from here. So let's see. that guy. So... No, I can't. I already tried that. Come on. No, don't. Don't use it on yourself. Come on. No. Not gonna work. It's going alright so far. Except for the fact that it's not really working right now. Um. Golf club? Yeah, I think it's kind of broken right now. That's inconvenient. It's going all right. I'm not saying it's great, just it seems better than the second one so far. It once again has some kind of logic, but not quite. And well, I didn't watch it live, but like I heard about it. And if I give you a coin, will you let me pass? So... Let's 
so. What if I do give him a coin? There we go. Yay, I got the coin back. In this helmet, I could make crumbs, since I have no ammunition. Okay. In this helmet, I could make crumbs, since I have no ammunition. No. Golf club? Golf club. Pepper? No. No. What if I just use the golf club from this side? No. Ow. Uh, pepper from this side? No. I don't think I can pick it up. Why is that not working anymore? Whatever. Hmm. I hope that I can still get through the game. Not the game isn't broken. I don't know. Maybe I can throw them from this side? I don't get it. Oh, fine. I guess so. There we go. Fair enough. Uh, a shield. Lovely. So, who's going to be the pepper? <laughs> no. I want that shield. <laughs> Seems fun. Ow. And Hitting someone with a golf club is just how I say hello to people. So, yeah. Don't worry about that. Yeah, exactly. because they just fly off into the sky and I never see them again. That must be why I have issues making friends. 
Right. Or maybe it's just a coincidence. I mean, how do you say hello to people if not like that? He looks like he could crush his head against his neighbor's shield. Hmm. Like the branch? Looks like he could crush his head against his neighbor's shield. No. Okay, so there's a rock behind him again. Which makes me think that I need to deal with this guy first. Fair enough. I mean... You could try and say hi, but catapulting person just off into the sky with a golf club. Maybe that would work better for you. Who knows? Can't pay this person off. I'm very confused about whoever that's supposed to be. I think I've already used all my items, so don't think any of those worked. <laughs> Sure is. So, come on. So, you talk to strangers a lot? Ow. I mean, you have a point. Tails. Wow. Finally got tails that one time. Oh. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh. I guess that worked. So, what about that branch? Um, let's see. Pepper. 
anything. <laughs> Fair enough. The boy, the boy. So many painkillers. Wait, this guy only has one eye, I think. And that doesn't do anything. So... Didn't do anything here either, I think. But I mean, I'm making progress, so... Wow. No, that's not it. Just wanted to see if it's a timing puzzle after all. But I guess not. Maybe I'm gonna throw pepper at him while he's sticking out his tongue. That could be possible. Please, I. No. They'll figure out what to use. <laughs> Maybe the breadcrumbs. So it's not breadcrumbs, it's not the pepper, it's not the golf club, not the plunger, is it the gold coin? No. Oh, tongue! Okay. So it's its own item that can click on. Fine. No, it's not pepper. Maybe it's the breadcrumbs after all. No. It's gotta be something. I guess I could, but... 
Well... True. We could try that. Yeah, fine. <laughs> wow. I wasn't thinking silly enough. <laughs> Obviously. The boy, the boy. The boy, the boy, the boy, the boy, the boy. The boy, the boy. Stop punching! Is it because I made all the other guys disappear? It seems like it's another timing thing. Yeah, true. He does. I can just reach that ladder now? Oh. Or not. Oh. There? There. So. There we go. Since the object stopped close to him, for Bayless got out of his hiding place and grabbed it. Winona ran after him. No more guards! No more for Bayless! Even Winona is gone! I was alone, but I had the unpleasant sensation of being watched! I am King Bud. Well, who are you to interfere at the moment I was going to get the key of the maze from Winona? What? Wait, what? Was that guy a werewolf? How is there a wolf? <laughs> okay. So... Do I have to redo the level? Or not? Am I in the wolf's stomach? I'm confused. My inventory is empty. Okay. Oh? Oh? Well, I'm glad I... I'm making progress. confused. I mean, where am I? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, 
the wolf did spit out bones, so... Oh, matches! Lovely. Okay. <laughs> so those are the types of matches you can strike anywhere. Lovely. Where is he? There he is. Oh! Alright. Yeah, it does seem I'm stuck in the afterlife. Lovely. No? Okay. Thanks the rain! How you doing? To get white, I must throw three will-o'-the-wisps into the bowl! Three what? Oh? Uh, oh? Uh, no. And I thought I already had lights. Because I can see now. Okay. <laughs> oh, a spider. Lovely. Well, the game is alright so far. This mirror is attached to a mechanism. I must find how it works. Well, that was an interesting way to pronounce the word mirror. But I mean, I want to talk. This has been written with blood. It is still fresh. Lovely. Nothing better than some fresh blood. But, but why is it yellow? Actually, I probably don't want to know. I have the unpleasant feeling they want me to think I'm dead. Maybe because you are. <laughs> oh? Oh? Ah. Of course. Oh? No. <laughs> Can I scoop anything out of a skull? I mean, what's the worst that could be in there? Okay, can't do that. To get white, I must throw three will o' the wisps into the bowl. Pedestal. That probably does something. Oh. Oh. Or not. Um. Ooh. Lovely. How am I going to convince this guy to let go of that bottle without being able to click on him? Oh? Oh? I 
mean, I've got the three dens. There's one there, one there, oh. one over there. Oh. But I'm not sure about where to get the rest. Nice, very symmetrical spider web right here. Looks very realistic. This mirror is attached to a mechanism. I must find how it works. No. I still think it's very suspicious that that one O is golden or yellow. Either way, it's not the same colour as the rest. I don't know why. Well, for soup, for example, I don't see any here. Already tried to use it on the bowl, but that didn't work. And I mean, of course you can always wear them, as this character prefers to do. What about the news? Um, let's see. Go far, but don't tire your mount. Take... Giant trick. No. Giant... Giant? Tixir? Giant Tixir. Okay. And you'll go many miles in no time. So, I guess turning into a giant. Anyways, death at your heels. I'm worried about the next part of my trip. I'm being attacked by King Bod's white wild wolf while interfering to help. Win. Winona? Winona, I think so. Anyways, right now, I'm between life and death. I fight to keep conscious. Yeah, I think her name was Winona. Whatever. It's a weird way of spelling that, but... Well, not sure how I would have spelled it. Just not like that. So... There's glasses... And the... Flower... Water mechanism. So... It seems... I'm going to be playing through this level alone. Actually, I haven't saved in this area yet. I like how the standard save game name for this area is just death. To get white, I must throw three will o' the wisps into the bowl. Well, I mean, this is a bowl, this isn't, so. Well. Oh. Well, it's oh. interesting so far. How are you doing? Oh, the scythe! Nice. Alright. If 
found something I didn't know I could click on. So, can I use that on the bottle? No. On the den. Interesting. So, where's that gonna go? Can I catch it? Guess not. Match? No. Oh, that one's a different color. Okay. It just went in there? Why there? So... What do I do with it once it's in there? So the red one is attracted to the blood? Is that it? It's the bottle orange. Kind of. Might just be coincidence, I don't know. So. How am I going to catch them? Okay, time for some pixel hunting. Got the bottle. Oh, one leg. Oh. Oh. So. Well, that's not very nice. Oh. Oh. Nope. Oh? Oh? <laughs> I mean... Who isn't? Exactly. Okay. So I guess that worked. <laughs> Didn't expect it to be that fresh. <laughs> but alright. put the blood in there. I, I'm talking about the blood that was still wet to the point where I could scoop it up. That. Okay. 
Because he said that it seemed like it was fresh. The boy, the boy. something I can do with the tombstone. <laughs> Bloody tombstone? Something I messed over here. How about some blood on the mirror? No. Stabbing it? No. Can I stab the syringe? I can! So, water on the fire? On, on the fire. Not over there. Oh, got one of them. So, can I put some, some blood in the bottle? Is that something I want to do? Apparently it is. Okay. Lovely. Got a bottle of blood. Um. On the pedestal? Sure. Nope. I close it. Still got the mirror. So now one of them is already in my own inventory. The other one is in the skull, and the third one is in the bottle of blood. So. No. Oh. No. No. This mirror is attached to a mechanism. I must find how it works. Yeah, I guess I can just put the one I have in the bowl already. Maybe that's gonna change the light levels. Well, seems like it is. It's all very yellow now. All right. So, do I use it on the skull? Hmm. Ah. Nice. Got it. 
so... Got a second one. A green hand. Well, that's interesting. It's a mushroom that has grown on the green hand. Looks like a cork. Well, I wonder what I could do with that. <laughs> Uh-huh. I must find a way to make this ray come back into the bowl. Nice hat. Big boom. Well, that's not very nice. Where'd the ray go? To get light, I must throw three will o' the wisps into the bowl. Hmm. Yeah, it's way too colorful now. I prefer the well color scheme they had go going earlier. I have the unpleasant feeling they want me to think I'm dead. So, mirror on the pirate? Nope. Stabbing the pirate. No. No. Quirk on the pirate. <laughs> well, that didn't make all sense, so. No. There. Yeah, well, there was a button to release the mirror that was right here. Remove the will o' the wisp from the bowl using the ladle. Oh, all right. So, well, it could be used as support to make the ray bounce. It could be used as support to make the ray bounce. That makes no sense to me, but all right. Thanks for following. I must find a way to make this ray come back into the bowl. Nice and orange. Anything? No. Can't see anything. So, we've had... 
Oh, we started out with yellow, so. What about just red? Oh. That's something. The ray of light must bounce three times and come back into the bowl. Okay. So... Anything else that changed? Not really. So... We put the blue fire back in the bowl. And then take out the red one. Well, the red, yellow, and blue will the whisk together are not enough. Okay. So we've had just yellow, we've had just red, just blue, green, purple, and orange. So that should be all of them, I think. Unless I'm missing something. So, blue and yellow, green, blue and red, purple, and then the other combination that's left is red and yellow. Yeah. So, we've already had all the different combinations, I think. Unless I'm missing something. Oh. I must find a way to make this ray come back into the bowl. So, where could I use the mirror? Because I think I might want to use the mirror somewhere. Thanks, so, I think I hovered over something. I mean, it is fun so far. Like, honestly, this game seems like it makes way more sense. And fair enough. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> yeah, I I really wasn't. <laughs> that game was not my thing. Oh? Oh? Yeah. It really does. is a pretty good description. <laughs> this feels like an actual game that's supposed to make people not pull out their hair. So, yeah.
Ờ. Ờ. Tịt luôn. Probably something about getting the color combinations right. So let's start with the yellow one. Or, well, still have the hand right there. How about the mirror? How about that there? Yep. Alright. So, we've got that part. Not gonna make it bounce. Cause it I think it went off in that direction. Oh. Alright. So that's part of it. So I think purple was yes. There's the ghost. How about the glasses? Okay. So, putting the yellow back on the bowl. Okay, so something over here. I don't think there was anything over there. So it might be the pirate. Who has to do something? Let's see. So I'll take out everything but the yellow one. Well, Big boom. so that's still happening. What if I take out the final one too? <laughs> well, I mean, I'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure it's something about the pirate, because it goes off in that direction over there and then lands over here. So. <laughs> well, fair enough though. I did just do that. Maybe I can give him his bottle back. No. Some water? No. I'll try blue again. The red, yellow, and blue will of the wisp together are not enough. No. No. Can I stab the ghost? No. Send on fire. No. Does it need a cork? No. Or some water. No. So I don't think that ghost can help. Well, it can give hints, but that seems to be it. 
I mean, what else would you do? If you can stab things, why wouldn't you? So, how about orange again? To get white, I must throw three will o' the wisps into yeah. the bowl. Oh, I know. Big boom. I have the unpleasant feeling they want me to think I'm dead. So, who was the one who gave me the information that it needed to be reflected three times? I don't think it was this skull. So, was that on red? Right. So the vampire will probably want blood, right? The ray of light must bounce three times and come back into the bowl. At least it makes sense to me. Nope. Guess not. Do I stab it? Fine. So. Seems I fixed it. Okay. Got it. After being delirious for three days, I was slowly regaining consciousness in a soft bed. I was saved. Dear Unknown, thanks for helping me escape from King Bod. You really made him mad. We are lucky that those people saved you. I can't wait for you to heal, because I must go and find for Bayliss, who now has the key to the maze. To find me. Drink this extract to become a giant. The objects you are carrying will grow with you. I hope to see you again soon. Sincerely, Winona. <laughs> She seems very fond of herself, based on how she read that letter <laughs> and said her own name. Being a giant is really handy. Here I am, close to a town. I've read it twice. So... There. Huh? I can actually go back and load this area and read the paper here. So, have fun again at your funeral parties thanks to the merry trio Will the Wisps. Lovely. And the article is Brave Encounter. The first contact as I arrive is brutal, since my ship has been hardly bombarded. Still in flight. Fate makes me meet the beautiful Winona, who disappeared along with the key of the maze after her father... That guy's death. Alright. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I didn't really pay attention to the picture. So... Hmm. 
Yes. Yes, that is how it works. Female character exists in game, therefore romance. Is your memory failing you? No problem. Drink a few drops of... Memorum. This area has... Some interesting elixirs. The Great Folly. I'm happy to inform you that I'm safe. And I continue my trip as a giant. I must heal a dragon who has lost its memory and doesn't remember it's packed not to attack its neighbours. <laughs> sure. For some reason I'm... Oh right, he's a giant. That's why the dragon's so tiny. Oh, fine. I can just go through them like that. Alright. So. I'll just take these. No, don't walk onto the trap. Oh? Oh? Oh, it's a dragon trap. <laughs> Lovely. Can oh. I not talk to the king? Oh. 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 How is the princess able to lift up the roof? Oh. I mean, oh. th that seems a bit unlikely. Or like they really need to get the roof fixed. What? Oh, oh thorns. Oh. Whoopsies. <laughs> what if I just take the meat? Sure, that's not gonna cause any issues. If they're expecting a dragon to appear, I don't think sticking your head out the window is a great idea. I'll just steal that. I can't get close! My hair is burning! Well, I used to have water just a second ago. Lovely. Wait. Hello, travelers and friends. My name is Pike Pick the Mosquito. Oh, bad news. Your lovely friend, Winona, has taken a last ship from town. <laughs> if only you could fly like me. Being a giant is nice, too. Except that when you want to get back to your regular signs, you first become tiny. <laughs> tiny. Apparently. Well. What's that? A spoon. And a stone. Or not. Can't pick that up. Alright. So. Who's screaming? This scoundrel! 
scoundrel of a captain apologizes for abandoning the on the ship. Well, apology accepted. Drink blue beer, Winkle. The funniest and most impertinent soft drink to be found. Okay. Encounters of the third kind. I went in in close to the city located at the border of Foliander land. Because the powerful bombing that, according to the captain, keeps all ships from flying, must find another means of transport. Okay. Oh! All right. Time to make a new friend. Can I pick this? I mean, nobody's gonna miss it, right? I guess maybe they mind. Can I talk to her? Or not? Why is the rat screaming? It's a very loud rat. Her name is Corin. She's a warrior with magical powers. Apparently a warrior who does not need armor. Alright then. Either that or she's just sitting around in her underwear. In and in. Well, I don't know. Maybe she's off duty. <laughs> True, she's not. He says that he doesn't need a leash since he lost his master. Wait, what? Leash? He says that he doesn't need a leash since he lost his master. Okay. I could use Chump to unhook the customer's leash. What? I'm very confused. Why does that customer need a leash? Or have a leash? Not sure what I'm getting involved with here. Before leaving, I must obtain another way of transport from the captain. Oh, good. Good point. Would have skipped. Oh, uh, well, would have missed that. Not skipped it. I wouldn't have noticed it. Um, sugar and a mug. Raining stones. Why is it raining stones? He could help me, but I first have to find a note he lost. What kind of note? Just a note? Find me a note. But All I right. first have to find a note he lost. Fine, I'll go and find him a note. I should use Chump to put the paprika on the bait for the dragon. Come here, Chump. Oh. 
so... Can anyone boost him up there? No. I don't think it's going to be customers on the other side. That would be very silly. That dragon looks like it's about to just bite her leg. <laughs> Interesting. Well, that's not very nice. stone. I mean, I do have a spoon. I have so many items, but why? Oh, now they're giants again. Oh, that makes sense. Um... Can I put sugar on the meat? No. I don't think that dragon likes me. Unless that's just how it says hi. No. So, something to do with the millstone? No. me because of my size if only i knew his name <laughs> Come on. can i ask the king oh oh yeah. oh, oh. oh. <laughs> maybe having a giant bird land on their roof is gonna work well i mean i'm still trying to figure out what to do I've barely even found the millstone so i hope i'm not supposed to use it to put out the fire because <laughs> that would be very nice Okay. Well, it should be a pretty big spoon, right? No. Can I just put out the fire using the hand? <laughs> And not everything. <laughs> yes, what about the nostril? 
I wonder if I'm going to get oh. toasted. Oh. Oh. Or fine. Oh. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> Can I pay off the king? Oh? No. Oh? 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 Can I just oh. <laughs> destroy oh. the roof? <laughs> oh? <laughs> no. Oh? What if I use the golf club on the meat? I mean, I should be able to get it out of there. Seems like it would be easy. That fork is really gonna fit well with my spoon. So... Can I use the millstone on the fork? Because it looks like it's on a pile of hay. My hair is burning. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely better. I think he's stuck. There we go. <laughs> Nice. I could use Chump to unhook the customer's leash. How? How would I do that? And is this the Grinch? I mean, based on the facial features and being bright green, it seems like it's possible. Can I steal her dagger? No. No. 
Spoon. if I use the spoon on the mug? No. The sugar on the mug? No. So close to landing in the mug, but no. I could use Chump to unhook the customer's leash. But how? How would that work? It's like, it doesn't work like that. Can he walk onto the pedestal? Wherever that is. I mean, where is that pedestal? Oh, it's this thing. Fine. I thought it was the ledge over here, but no. Alright. So. What would I use a millstone for? Do I want to use it on the sugar? Just this sugar. No. I'm sure she wouldn't mind, right? Yeah, she probably would, but... Any way I could unscrew that thing? I mean, she is watching me. For the most part. Well. Does he scream any time I get near him? Or is it just random? I think it might just be random. So, how am I going to get the leash? Need to use chump somehow, but... How? Liar, liar, 
boom bear the 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 boom Wait, how did I get him to raise his hand his hand last time? Oh, like that. Okay. Um hmm. No. How about a spoon? Does he need a spoon? No. No spoon. Um uh, millstone? He'll start on his hand. <laughs> no. Oh, that doesn't seem very nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, we're trying to convince the dragon to not kill everyone for some reason. I don't know why. Oh. Well. That seems interesting. Close enough. starting to figure stuff out. <laughs> That's no time to leave. So. Stone and what about the stone? Oh. I don't know. Might be. Dizzy from all the turning into giants and turning back into well, tiny versions of themselves afterwards. Anyways, <laughs> well, that makes perfect sense. Very silly. Can't seem to do anything else with a spoon. So. No. Coin? No. It seems like the sugar might actually be the way to go. So. Oh, all right. That makes perfect sense, somehow. Interesting. So now I just need to get the meat to then add the powder. But 
how am I going to get it? Thanks for follow. How are you doing? So the stone. No. No. Still not gonna work. Millstone. No. Sugar? <laughs> No. Hmm. No. Can I have him just stand on it? Did something. I think. Um what if I have them do that the other way around? Can't get back down again. Well that's inconvenient. So there and there for him. me to help Knight Brayer throw in the thorns by the dragon. Okay. Well, I know his name now. He tells me to try to make the dragon swallow this memorum. Okay. <laughs> well. The boy, the boy. So, how do I stop that from working? No. No. Plunger somehow? No. Already tried the stone. I can't talk to the king anymore. Let's see. Can he get it? Well, no. Already tried that. Um, good thing they have a very sturdy castle.
No. could I get the water from over there to over here? How about the umbrella? Can I use that to transport some water? Nope. So, none of my items were able to stop the trap, I think. At least not the ones I tried. Maybe there's something I haven't tried yet. So I've tried all of these, I think. Yeah, it doesn't work on the lever. Um, uh, the stone didn't work. I think the sugar didn't work. Yeah. That's not going to work either. And the millstone didn't work either. Right? Hmm. Maybe there's something else I can use on the meat to, like, block the trap from closing all the way. I don't think so. Because, I mean, it would mainly be either the sugar or the millstone. Or maybe the other stone. Yeah. Glad I don't have a health bar in this game. Because <laughs> at this point I'd uh, be getting very annoyed with it. Can I somehow put out a fire with a plunger? No. So, I still don't know how to get the meat. Is there anything- oh. Maybe the leash to well, make sure the trap doesn't close. Question is, how do I get it? I mean, the game told me that I somehow need to uh, use chump for it, but I don't know how. The game told me that when I looked at the hands. I can use Chomp to unhook the customer's leash. Yeah, but how? He says that he doesn't need a leash since he lost his master. Let's see. <laughs> What could I do? Um... Anything I can do with the hand? Not really. Tails! Yeah, I think so, but I'm confused about it too. 
Yeah. <laughs> the, the sentence doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. But I mean, this customer does seem to either have some very pointy ears or horns. So, not entirely sure what species this customer would be. Like, is it supposed to be a cow or something? And if so, like, I need to unhook the leash from the cast the customer. Like, it it doesn't seem to be attached. I could use Chump to unhook the customer's leash, or maybe just unhook it from where it is up there. But why is it up there? How do I get Chump up there? Okay. Well, would you have a better translation for it? Millstone would be, well, a millstone, as in the stall, the stone used in a mill. So, well. let's see. There we go. Well, that is not what I'd consider to be a millstone. <laughs> Fine. So now I've got a fork. <laughs> uh, can I use that on the meat? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just missing a knife and I am trying to possibly at least get part of a sword. So. I should 
use Chump to put the paprika on the bait for the dragon. Making progress. <laughs> well, it's not that easy. Looks a lot easier than the second game. I can tell you that. <laughs> and said I needed to find a note. But did she say something about a quest? Anything? Oh, okay. Well, I've got this stone. Is that pretty enough? She offers to let me okay. look for my owner in her magic knob. Okay. <laughs> I did not sign up for this. He doesn't want to give back the key to the maze that I got from father. I'm her now? Okay. I'll just take that. <laughs> Why not? And Plenty of those. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, it's powder and wicks. Okay. Ah, uh, can I have that flute? Oh, 
He is the last of the Incas. He sings the lost splendor of his people. Okay. Well, that's a wand. And a flint up there. Why are there so many items? there. Oh. Fine. He's a bit talkative. <laughs> Still don't get that. These materials won't resist an explosion of dynamite. <laughs> Well, this game is going a lot better than... She's a genius. <laughs> uh, this game is going a lot better than the second one, so... I can't specifically take the helmet. Um. Oh. Ow. I am Uya, the magician. I'm hiding. I have been mugged by four bailers. He stole my bag of magic spells. I'm scared thinking he will use them. Okay. So, does he want the wand back? Oh. Of course. And he can't use the wand, because he's not a materialist. Sure. Well, that's not very nice. I should blow up this stone. There is bamboo underneath. Well, wouldn't blowing up the stone also blow up the bamboo? It's fine. No. Um, well, they're, uh, the first one and the third one, I'd say, are meh, meh. the ones that are more worth playing. <laughs> I'd skip the second one. <laughs> These materials won't resist an explosion of dynamite. <laughs> really? Alright. 
Well, I'd say the second one doesn't really make you think, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. So, well. Wait. A beam of brick. What are those and why? Why are they there? Can I just use a spell on him? No. Why are the magic spells in a bag? It's my bag! I must find a way of getting it back! Maybe I can use the powder on the bark. There. <coughs> Thanks, the host. Yeah, that's not helping. Um, the wand on the bark? No. On the rock? No. Stone. <laughs> You're very polite to my bot. I'm guessing I can't just use the wick on the keg, right? No. Oh, I can just go back to the end whenever I want to. That's pretty neat. But it is kind of creepy to have him staring like that. He doesn't want to give back the key to the maze that I got from father. Ow. He is the last of the Incas. He sings the lost splendor of his people. Yeah. So, anything I can do with that wall? Probably not. These materials won't resist an explosion of dynamite. These materials won't resist an explosion of dynamite. Indeed. So... Shush.
Let's see. Just trying to see if I missed anything important. I probably need the bamboo. Somehow. So... Can I have him... Levitate the stone. No. Not entirely sure how that works. <laughs> like, she's perfectly able to lift the stone, but then she somehow always gets trapped under it. Stone. There is bamboo underneath. But she's perfectly able to lift it off of herself again. <laughs> I'm so confused. Is there anything I'm missing? I mean, there's gunpowder? I've already got that. Already got wicks. Already got flint. What else do I need? And I don't think I can open the door. Actually, that tower seems tiny. So there's probably something to do with that bark. Just need to figure out what. Oh, okay. No. No. supposed to do with that? Yeah, just move away. No. Confused. Just why? Why is this there? <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. I just don't know what I'm missing. Like... The helmet? Possibly? Okay, so, that on the rock? Is it on the rock? I guess not. On the hollow? No. Stonehead, no. Blue? No. Skull?
No. Okay, I don't need any more. So that's not a thing. What would I do with it? I mean, I've got a helmet full of sap. So... Why would I want that? Does he want a helmet full of sap? No. I don't know why she keeps on putting it on her head though. If it's actually full of tree sap, that seems like a bad idea. If you've ever had tree sap, tree sap on your hand, you probably know how difficult it is to get it off of any surface. And I don't want to try what it's like to have it on your hair. Chewing gum is bad enough. Well, it's not that I don't like tree sap, I just prefer not to have tree sap on me or anything that I want to be free of tree sap. So, I prefer having tree sap be its own thing that's, like, not really destroying anything I own. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> It has its purpose in nature. Like, Amber looks nice and gave us Jurassic Park, so. I don't have a problem with tree sap. I just prefer to stay away from it. <laughs> exactly. I don't have a problem coexisting with tree sap. Right, I have the tree sap. Now what? Oh, lovely. I get to have more than seven saves. Isn't that fancy? Maybe there's something he can do with the skull. Oh, Bayless has my magic bag. I can't transform anything. Okay. Let's 
still don't know how his magic is contained in a bag. Like, maybe there is a book in the bag, but that doesn't make bag magic. How does one store magic? It doesn't really seem like a physical thing that you can put in a bag, right? <laughs> yeah. I guess he is a bag magician. Oh, uh, well, I was talking about how this is his magic bag and he needs it to do magic. How do you put magic in a bag? Like, it doesn't really seem like a physical item that you can store in a bag. I mean, sure, he could have a book of spells in the bag, but that doesn't make the bag magic. So... How does one store magic in a bag? Anyways, I think I might need a hint on this puzzle, because... I feel like I need to get the bamboo to blow anything up, but, well. Ah. Well, that's not very nice. Alright. Well, <laughs> it's fine. He wants me to make another flute using my flint. What? Uh, yeah, it was great. I made him a new flute. I'm sure that's gonna work just fine. Wait, what? Where did that come from? Okay. That makes sense. What? <laughs> I got back my bag with magic spells, but for Bayless kept one of them. How can he take out one magic spell? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Okay. But why? Uh, flint on the hair? No. Tree sap on the hair? No. On her hair instead. Maybe. But then it's a bag of magic scrolls, not a magic bag. Whatever. <laughs> nope. Um, uh, powder. Wick. Um, tree sap? Just 
take the stick of dynamite? No. Am I missing something? Okay, my flute again. You not want it back. Okay. I guess the hair is just there to be silly. So, what am I missing? but I've been trying that. Or maybe I need to use the flint on the stone? Ah, fine. Uh, door. Door! I said door! Come on. Fine. So, small tube. Powder. Wait. Um. There. And there. Fine. So, why do I need bamboo? What's the last one? Oh, the the wick. Dang it. Hmm. 
Well, I guess I'll be able to use the hairs. Yep. All right. So. Nope. It's already done. So. On the right. No. Oh. Progress. Take more than one. No. Fine. I'll keep on running back and forth. Maybe that's why they made this puzzle have so many segments. Not sure how that tower is staying this intact. It doesn't really make any sense. Like, I guess it's cartoon physics. I'd say we should go for the door. Next, that wall, and then the beam. Well, I've watched some cartoons. Building work on that tower. Nice. 
All right then. For Bale has transformed my darling into a butterfly. I must find her fast. His darling. He only just met her. <laughs> Actually, I think I saved there, right? Well, actually, now that I think of it, can I check the other page? I guess not. Um, because that had its own page, right? In the newspaper. There. Um, to the collector, a sure and always valuable item, the, that feather, okay. I guess I'll be collecting a feather at some point. Last limit. Thanks to the knob of Corrin's sword, the pretty magician warrior. I see what- Wait, Wyona? Uh, whatever her name was, fighting the other guy. The traitor wants to be the guardian of the maze instead of her. Now he has the key. So. Load. Back to that one. So, did I get any items from that? Nope. Nothing. So... Time to figure out what to do here. Does she have anything else to say now? Because solving her puzzle is the last thing I did. Ah. Well. Alright then. I guess she does not want to talk. Big bear, big boom, big bear, boom, big boom, big boom, big boom, big boom, big boom, big he could help me, but I first have to find a note he lost. Well, I don't know where he lost that note, so... Could he be any more vague? Okay, so I can't interact with the sword anymore. Well, that's fine. It just tells me that I'm done with that part. Which I'd say is a good thing. It means progress. Well, maybe I can do something about the dragon. sound effects there. <laughs> yeah, it's very squishy. <laughs> Hello, how you doing?
So... Can I do anything with the mechanism? The boy, the boy. The boy, the boy. Well, I mean, a millstone being a sponge makes no sense. From what I know, a millstone is a stone, not a sponge. So. Could be wrong. Anyways. Before leaving, I must obtain another way of transport from the captain. Fine. Still don't know why I need the leash. Am I going to be using that on the dragon? It doesn't really look like he's wearing one. I guess that makes sense then. Yeah, it seems like it. He says that he doesn't need a leash since he lost his master. <laughs> I think I might need a hint on this part, because I don't know how I interact with the bird without just controlling the bird. So. Okay. Wait, he wants the sugar. Oh. Oh, fine. Okay. I guess that makes some sense. Not a lot of sense, but some sense. So, what do I need a leash for? Well, I wasn't a huge fan of the first song, or the intro, and for some reason, I can still hear the in out here. <laughs> now 
No, he won't take it. I prefer to put the memorum in the water basin. Okay. <laughs> nice of him to just say it outright. So... No. What do I do with the meat? done anything with the fork or actually I have I used the fork to get the meat so I have used all the items I think except the meat I mean not since it's been spiced so or seasoned anyways I haven't figured out how to use that yet Well, not like that. The boy, the boy, the boy, the boy. <laughs> it seems like I'm not missing much. I just need to find a way to get the meat into the dragon den. So. No, I don't think that did anything. So, how do I manage to get the dragon out here? Can't use the meat on the basin.
does the dragon want gold? Possibly. Interesting. Anything else I could use? Okay. No. Hmm. No. D well, d I'm not sure if that's what I'm supposed to be doing, but since it's possible, I guess so. I mean, I don't know why, but... <laughs> or do I want to put the coin in the nostril instead? So it seems like the ear is the way to go. I just don't know why. think of it what sort of skull is that because it looks like a human ish skull but not quite but it doesn't look like a dragon skull or any other creature that size so well <laughs> Hello, how you doing? But yeah, I don't think I can use any of my items here. I'll just try all of them one by one. I mean, I know it's not... The best way to solve puzzles. Guess, well. But it works. And that's what matters. No, he won't take it. I prefer to put the memorum in the water basin. But yeah, it's nice of him to just straight up tell me the solution to that puzzle. Not the other one, it's just that one. <laughs> Wait, can he use items on himself on purpose? I guess so. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Okay, I guess I put a fork in the nostril. That makes sense. But why? <laughs> okay. Uh... Okay. Come on, 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 come on,
come on, come on. He thanks me for having given him back his memory. Now he owes me. Okay, I've got a dragon now. I want my coin back. Yep. Can confirm. Who wouldn't want a tiny dragon you can fit in your pocket? Actually, does the king owe me now? Because... That kind of solved his issue. I guess not. Alright. Yeah, a bit. Actually, quite a bit. And, well, the puzzles are more logic based than timing based. Which is something I appreciate. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. Ah. Well, fair enough. I still don't get why I had to put the fork in the nose to put the meat on there, but... I mean... <laughs> You can't expect that much logic. <laughs> I mean, translation wise, I'd say the door at Othello's place. I mean, grammar is overrated, right? I usually see a lot of translation errors going from uh, English to German, so. Pretty sure that is one, though. <laughs> say they have some amount of logic but most of these games have a fair amount of nonsense <laughs> and you mainly solve those puzzles by trying everything As I am doing now. <laughs> that 
doesn't make any sense. Well, he agrees. Be nice if I could communicate with them in some shape or form. I must be missing something. So, let's see. Can I use the dragon on the spoon? The catapult, the dragon over there? I think there's something I'll have to use the dragon for. No. He's not impressed. I guess not. Do I need to do more pixel hunting? Because if so, well... I'm sure that's gonna go well. He says that he doesn't need a leash since he lost his master. I guess he doesn't have anything else to say to me. So, yes, I need to do more pixel hunting. Alright. Is it in this room or the other room? I just don't want to spend a bunch of time pixel hunting if there's absolutely nothing to be found. I don't think there's anything else out here. More sugar. Okay. I guess I do. Yeah, 
Still up here. <laughs> uh, well, whatever. Sir. So, yeah, I'm. Definitely still missing something here. Okay. I've got no clue where that would be. I'm both looking for a note and for a way to free the rat. So. Not sure if both are going to be a thing. Like maybe I'm supposed to leave the rat. And he's just a distraction. I feel like I should be able to steal that dagger, but well, I guess they don't want to get killed. <laughs> In which case, fair enough. I mean, yeah, that's where the leash used to be, but... Seems that's the only... <laughs> hidden... thing I can find, as in, like, the only thing I didn't expect to find right now. <laughs> True. True. Nope. So, I'll just try and use all the items. Since I can't seem to th find anything, so... Don't know what else to do. Oh! Alright. I guess I figured it out. The last bill is at his place. He'll exchange his key for something else. So where do I get his key from? <laughs> um, who would have the key? He says that he doesn't need a leash since he lost his master. Wait. 
Wait, does he have- I think he has the key. So the key to his place. Fine. So, a coin. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. Um, okay. Ow. It just seemed like he wanted a key, since, well, he's trapped. It's too small for me. Only the dragon could go inside. Fine. There we go. I guess it's off. Thanks, dragon. He left without being restored to normal size. So, do I get my coin back? Who knows a transport? Lovely. I think I'm finally done in this area. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay then. Yes, I'm definitely saving. Let's look around this place. Or not. Wait. I'm confused. Oh, there he is. Why is there... One... This good man seems to think that there are limits to curiosity. But... But I want no, spaghetti. No, 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 no. This good man seems to think that there are limits to curiosity. No, there aren't. He isn't paying any attention to my letter. What is he waiting for? I like this creature. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh no, a spider. The boy, the boy, the boy, the boy, the boy, the boy. Oh? It must be a speciality of the area. Bow. Bow. The lamp is made with a full moon stone. It's locked. Okay. <laughs> so 
seems come I can't on, even get on, one come item. Big bear, big boom, big bear, boom, big. No, big, bad, big, bad, no, bad, no, big, no, bad, no, big. She's not doing too good. She suffers from the drafts in the roof. Actually, now that I think about it, I guess having the game work like this means they only need one voice actor. Because. They can just reuse the gibberish. That's actually quite smart. Okay then. Yeah. It's the yeah, lover good point. Just a so, from him. two voice actors. Anyways, point being, they can save a lot of money on voice acting by being able to reuse it. He is the one who made the memorum. He is glad that the dragon is well. Okay. Anything else? Big bear, big boom, big bear, boom, big boom. No, 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 no. He doesn't work because there is a shortage of ingredients. He lets me in. Okay. Nice of him. Uh, voice for safe use of the magic lab. Only the right hand can pick up objects. Only the left hand can set mechanisms. Every object or ingredient has a determined place in the room. A successful mixture must be poured into the chosen bottle. The ingredients that make up the morum may be useful. Make and absorb Absorb? Whatever. Um, grow Ixir, speed Ixir, and then f fly Ixir? Okay. <laughs> Makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> That way I won't have to remember all of that. <laughs> oh, that's the guy from the first game. What? What was that? <laughs> okay, the hands are just floating around. Uh. So, picking up objects, not just ingredients, was the right hand, right? Yeah. Objects. So. The growth elixir, or grow elixir, has the power to speed up growth. Okay. Oh, there's the other one. Here's the third one. 
Or is it just going to be those two? They should have the third one, right? Why wouldn't they have the third one? It's no use. It burns really badly. Okay. I'm slightly confused. Oh, recipe book. Sounds good. Oh, there is a third one. Found him. I just want to put it back. Oh, fine. There. I guess it's in my inventory now. No more room. I'll take that. I said I'll take that. I guess not. Nope. There. Okay. No. Not allowed to use that. Oh, fine, I... I did put the urn back. Actually, that that's not an urn. Whatever. Well, I guess they just used a bunch of different words. To help people differentiate between all the different vessels that look the same. Anyways. What was that? Alright then. I'm very confused. But it's nice how the hands can just float around. They don't even need to bother to stay attached to the same body. <laughs> it seems very freeing. Hmm. Oh. Okay. The egg is ready to break. He needs some heat. What? <sighs> okay. Guess that makes sense. Somehow. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. Just jump. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, a shoe sole. What? Well, <laughs> it might be another matter of just it being a translation error. <laughs> I haven't really come across those that much. Because, well, I guess if you translate from French or Latin or German to English, you get yeah, those mistakes too. So that's great. <laughs> Never really thought about that. He 
It's the alchemist lover who has just received a letter from him. Oh, lovely. <laughs> and she's just hanging it out the window to dry. Or he's not doing too good. She suffers from the drafts in the roof. Ah. Yeah, there's a giant hole in her roof. So. There we go. Fixed it. She gives me her hot water bottle because she thinks she won't need it. Well, that's very generous, and I'm pretty sure that's a bad idea, but... Warm... Bottle. Why is there a full stop? Whatever. What? Why is the egg ringing? <laughs> This miracle of life is so cute, but the kid seems to be starving. <laughs> Hello, miracle of life. <sighs> seems like a weird way to refer to a freshly hatched bird, but okay. Can I get down from there? No. Am I stuck up here now? No. No. Does the bird want to deliver a letter for me? No. <laughs> okay, that worked. <laughs> Alright. You can figure out how to climb downstairs. As long as I... Try and walk over here. Sure. Why not? The boy, the boy. Anyways, I'd say that's enough for today. <laughs> I've spent plenty of time trying to figure this game out, so time to do other things. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'd say that was plenty of progress. <laughs> So, um, there we go. Anyways, I definitely say that this game, well, it's better than the second one. <laughs> I mean, they seem to have learned from the second one. <laughs> So, that's good. <laughs> Glad to see that. Seems they got plenty of feedback. <laughs> so, yeah. It's nice to see that they seem to have listened to the stuff people uh, told them to fix in their future games. <laughs> like, making the puzzles not be absolute nonsense, that's all just a series of just timed uh, actions that don't really make a lot of sense because yeah yep
yeah, the hint system works too. But yeah, I'd say in the previous game, a lot of the chains of actions you had to do did not make sense. And sometimes even the individual steps didn't make sense. So that just, well, like for example, with uh, uh, the whole situation on how to get to the clockmaker, that stuff in the second game. Well, it wasn't my favorite. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see who's live. Um... No, I didn't. <laughs> I mean, I was tempted to do that, but... In the end, I just... Figured I didn't need to. <laughs> So it seems Tom is still playing the Goblins game, so I guess we can go and watch him play some more of those games. I know. It's going to be a huge uh, change in content, considering how different the Goblins games are from Goblins Quest as those are in no way related. Anyways, time to watch the previous two games. <laughs> so, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. <laughs> Bye!